What's up, Crypto Fam? Hey, welcome back. Welcome this... to another episode with um, from the OP Quarantine Studio. studio. <laughs> <laughs> our our deluxe quarantine studio where there's no airflow. Right. So we can't get coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, welcome back. And we want to talk about market cap today, um, which is something that if you're in the crypto space, you've absolutely you know gone to coin market cap and seen the market caps and all the coins rated by market cap, uh, ranked by market cap rather. And it's a metric that I'm not personally super fond of. Um, it's a good rough estimate. Um, kind of a benchmark that's decent for comparing, you know, one coin against other coins or maybe comparing it to gold or some other larger financial market. Um, but it really should not be the only factor that's, um, you know, you're using to make a decision to, to get into a coin. Um, so the way that they calculate, it comes down to how they calculate the market cap. Uh, and they calculate it by the circulating supply of a coin, not the total supply. So maybe there's 100 million coins um, that were created with a token or a project rather. Um, but, you know, only 10% of them are circulating. And then, you know, it's trading on the exchanges at maybe $100 or something like that. So, you know, you're taking 10% of the total supply, timesing it by that hundred dollars it's trading at to get your market cap and both of those variables are pretty easy to manipulate. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that um, th it's inaccurate basically. Yeah it's rely. really it, it's really only valid for like the very second that you calculate it at mm -hmm. because the circulating supply are just the coins that are being moved around or being traded so if somebody's got you know a founder or a team member or somebody that's got a, a bought a big chunk of it up front all of a sudden decides that they want to unlock that and move it out of their wallet where it's been sitting for six months. All of a sudden the circulating supply doubles, um, which would have the market cap, or I'm sorry, which would double the market cap. Um, or, you know, a big whale on the exchange dumps a bunch of coins or pumps the price. And mm. then, you know, you see the market cap triple or quadruple. So it can change very, very rapidly. And it's tied to these two variables that are in constant flux of that. Yeah. So. so just to um, repeat this, basically, you would treat market cap as a theoretical number. Right? Yeah, yeah, it, it's a good rough estimate. It's like, okay, how big is this? Oh, okay, it's number three or four in the market cap. Um, you know, I'm not looking at the specific ranking so much as how it is compared to other uh, mm -hmm. rankings and, and over time too has it stayed at number three for you know weeks and months or years on end or has it just got there um, it, it, and yeah it just it changes so rapidly mm -hmm. it, it's good it's a good thing to take a look at um, but you see a lot of people who you know they see these two cent coins and they're like oh my gosh <laughs> you know Bitcoin is thousands of dollars this coins only two cents uh, but then you go and you look at the you know the supply the circulating supply and there's a trillion coins versus you know 21 million uh, for Bitcoin is what they'll only ever be and, and it becomes a different you know the calculations just change change right yeah. right um, so. <laughs> reminds me people used to ask me they would download the coinbase app mm -hmm. and they would used to ask me you know because a lot of people are not aware that they can buy a fraction of bitcoin they don't have to buy right. like, a whole bitcoin right, yeah. so they were like bitcoin is kind of expensive well what is this ltc <laughs> i don't know xrp it looks very cheap <laughs> it is but there's about you know a hundred times more of those so it's uh yeah and uh it's so it's it's a decent benchmark or rough estimate, but you really want to be looking at the fundamentals. Who's mm. the team? Who's the founders? They have a proven you know success uh, track history in this area. Um, are they utility? Util is there utility for the token? Can they mm. de can the team deliver on it? What's the idea? Is it you know giving cats and putting them on Mars or something like that? Like you know that's probably not going to happen. Um, but if it's something, you know, a little bit more simple, like just trying to make a more efficient payment app, then, uh, you know, that looks that looks a little bit better. They're probably going to pull that off. But cats on Mars, eh, maybe not. Nah. <laughs> so, okay. um, so that was our quick and dirty explanation of market cap. Uh, if you have any other questions, put them in the comments. Make sure that you follow and subscribe to us. And uh, we're just out here trying to build the open economy that we all deserve. Join us. We love you. Bye. Yeah.